Hi everyone, hope you're okay. Um, today I'm going to be talking about seasonal changes. Um, before the holidays, um, you will have been learning about habitats and environments um, where animals live. Um, and, well, habitats can change, um, especially when the seasons change. So from going uh, from summer um, all the way to winter can be quite a drastic um, change. Um, and well, animals and plants, they've got to do something in order to, to survive that change. Um, animals um, really only have three options. They've got to uh, migrate, hibernate or adapt. So what do each of those things mean? Let's have a think about what um, migration might mean. Too cold, right? That's it. I'm off. Right, well, uh, that was migration. What about hibernation? I wonder what uh, what that one means. Oh, looks like winter's here. Right, I've got my food. I've got my food. in about six months. Right, well, um, certainly looks uh, nice and cosy. Um, what about adaptation? Let's have a final think about what that one means. It's getting really cold. better. Right, great. So those um, are very basic examples of what um, each of those words mean. Um, there are different animals that do different things. So an example of migration, um, a lot of birds will like to migrate like uh, Canadian geese. Um, hopefully you'll see a picture popping up here. Um, hibernation, um, bears are definitely um, the most well-known hibernators but we in our country we can get um, animals like uh, bats, hedgehogs um, and dormouse, dormice, um, they hibernate. Hopefully you'll see a picture of one of them up here. Uh, and then finally um, adaptation. Um, the best uh, one example of that is um, a arctic hare which will uh, change its fur between um, summer and winter. In winter, it's, it's uh, very uh, white, matching the snow, and uh, in summer, it turns brown, um, making it um, a little bit harder to spot. Um, another example of adaptation is like a squirrel, likes to um, go and bury its uh, food all around different places uh, and store, store that food. Um, so that over winter it will have things to eat. Right, so that's it for animals. If uh, if you'll have a look at the work pack that you'll have either been emailed or, or um, sent a hard copy, um, there'll be a collection of sheets to do with um, migration, hibernation and adaptation of animals. Um, there are different abilities, so have a look at it with um, the person who you're working with or just on it by yourself. Um, and decide which one of those um, is best suited for you. Um, don't forget to take a picture because I really want to see the amazing work um, you've been doing. As well as animals, um, plants also um, exist in a habitat 
and they are also affected by the changing in seasons um, when it's nice and hot in summer uh, and then quite cold in winter um, plants have different ways to cope with that um, some plants they have special leaves uh, that can survive the cold um, they're called evergreens um, and there you'll see them um, around uh, they will be the plants that basically have leaves all the year round um, and then you've got plants that their leaves will drop off when it gets uh, to winter um, and they're called deciduous trees um, so um, you'll see lots of examples of both um, outside I've had a go at trying to spot some um, so let's have, a, let's have a see how I did Right, hello, I'm here, I am in a park and um, you can see there's loads of trees behind me um, there's some here, like this one this is a uh, evergreen tree um, it's still got its leaves on it as its leaves all the year round um, and if, if I swing around you can see there there's some more evergreens like that one there but then there's ones like that one there um, you know, there that uh, no leaves or this one which I'm stood directly underneath no leaves that's going to be a deciduous tree okay so that's the kind of right okay um so what i'd like you to do is either look out of your window um or um if you can go out for a very short walk either to um, a park or a local green space and just have a look and see uh, what kinds of um, evergreens and what kinds of deciduous um plants you can see um try and get a picture of them because um, it'd be great to see which which you've been able to find um, and that'll be great. As part of the work pack there's um, a couple of exercises to do with um, what the changes in trees between the seasons um, and a lovely clip from the BBC which are the links in the um, in the PowerPoint or the work pack. That's it for these two weeks. Um, I hope you all stay safe and I will see you soon. Bye.